relief is what I'm sure many people are feeling this morning. For hours, we were telling you authorities were on a scene overnight into the early morning trying to reach a peaceful solution with David Lindicum. And that's exactly what happened. Just before 6 this morning, officials say the nearly three day long manhunt came to an end here in Harford County peacefully and successfully. Now, Baltimore County Police and the Harford County Sheriff's Office thanked federal and state partners with this multi jurisdictional investigation, along with the community for their cooperation and patience. Let's walk you through what we know so far. So around 7 last night, Harford County Sheriff's deputies were helping Baltimore County Police in the ongoing search for Linthicum in Cockeysville, who's been wanted since Wednesday after allegedly shooting an officer responding to his home for a call of a man in crisis. After no sightings for days, last night a Baltimore County Police detective spotted Linthicum in the area of Powers Road and Warren Road and ordered everyone to shelter in place. That's in sources tell WJZ Linthicum shot the detective multiple times and took off with the car, leading officers on a 30-minute chase that ended in Harford County at the Falston Mall area. That's where officials believe an officer deployed spike strips to force his vehicle to a stop. He then ditched the car and went into the woods nearby, beginning an eight-hour standoff in Harford County. Throughout the standoff, uh, particularly as we were able to get a little closer to him, uh, our deputies used multiple less lethal tactics to try to encourage him to surrender. Uh, as I said, he was hunkered down in the woods, and that made it difficult. But at uh, a point in the closing hours, we were able to establish some communication with him. Uh, as morning approached, uh, and at 543, members of our team were able to bring him safely into custody. And Sheriff Gaylor says Linthicum was arrested with ammunition, but no firearms in possession. So now they are just double checking the area to make sure that there's nothing left behind there. Now, while Linthicum is being examined by doctors out of abundance of caution, the sheriff says that he did not sustain any injuries during his arrest. Neither were any other additional officers or deputies in this. Now, he will be transferred to Baltimore County Police, where he is expected to face a number of charges. Meanwhile, Baltimore County and Harford County executives. Executives commended the work from law enforcement and are now saying that their thoughts and prayers are with the two injured Baltimore County officers. For now, reporting live in Harford County this morning, I'm Amy Kawada for WJZ.